many years ago the Beatles said, I get by with a little help from my friends. Well, this next video talks about the help and support page in your intranet. So let's take a look at the help and support page. This is a page that your intranet should always have. So here you see at the top of this site, site help. So this is a standard help and support page, or as it shows here, a sample help and support page. Let's take a look at the SharePoint of Practice design for this help and support page. It's really quite simple. Okay, so we're talking about the business problem of we launch our internet and then people start using it, but they forget what you've shown them. They are new staff, they've changed their job roles, or whatever reason, we need to be able to give them good information, timely, easy to get to. So how do we easily create that structure? So it is a SharePoint modern page and using Microsoft Stream. Uh, as you know, I'm a big fan of video, case in point. So when we build a page in SharePoint, one of the tools that we'll use is a basic wireframe. So I'm demonstrating that here is a simple wireframe that you can show to your client or use to just visualize the page very quickly. I build these in Visio, you could use PowerPoint or whatever you want. But this is the structure of the help and support page wireframe. And in the toolkit, we do show a screenshot of that sample page as well. So building a SharePoint page is covered extensively out there on the web. So I'm not going to go into the details here about how you build this page. I'm going to point out a few key things. We just call it help and support. I'm hiding the name underneath there. I include a little bit of text. The text just welcomes people, gets them into the page, gives them a bit of an intro. Remember, they're coming to this page for help. So let's make it as friendly as possible. So think what people might need to see or read here to say, yep, you've come to the right place. This is the help and support page. And below that, which is really the bulk of the page is this stream web part that lists all the videos. Now, as you're using Microsoft Stream, when you add additional videos, they will automatically show up in this web part on your help page. Speaking of adding additional videos, one of the reasons that you have this help and support page is a place to keep people updated. So anything that's changed or modernized or added to your site, record a little video and post it in stream and boom, it'll be on this site. I like to include a right-hand column here with other resources. Notice we've got some Microsoft 365 training, uh, my blog, and a few other training links. And down here, you can have kind of an overview video, whatever you want. As mentioned, the still need help section down at the bottom right. And I create that as a standard in most of the sites I built. So if it's a information page like this help page, then people know, then go to the bottom right of the page and say, oh, who's managing this page or who understands this section or where can I go for more information? And what I like to use on the help and support page as per our last video is a suggestion box as well. This is a really powerful tool for your users to keep in contact and give you feedback about your site. So once we build the page, we'll add it to this top menu. Now this is a hub menu, and the beauty of the hub menu, as you know, it shows up on every site in the hub, it's always at the top. So include that link, that site help, and notice I put a little icon here just to really let it pop, and I recommend that you make this all caps. Now just to wrap this up, let's take a look at some governance ideas. So keeping the content fresh, update, add videos regularly. We've already talked about that. If something's changed, then swap it out. Make sure that people start to get confidence that that help and support page is your latest and greatest information. What about promoting the page? If people say, hey, how do I manage documents in my document library? And you happen to have a video on your help and support page, how to do that, send them the video or send them a link to the page. Or if they ask you a question that could be answered or should be in the suggestion box, send them a link to the help and support page. So you train your users to support themselves. Okay, let's look at some ideas for enhancing this page. Many ways you could make this page better. First of all, need more help? If you wanna have an email link, allow people to email, you can use this format 
to set up an email link. And notice you can even include the subject line if you wish in that email link. We talked about stream already in this video. I'm just going to emphasize that stream is in the process of being modernized in Microsoft 365 now. If you haven't modernized your stream videos, if you're using them, feel free to reach out for help. That's going to be an important thing to do. Stream videos will get deleted as of April 15th, 2024. So the way this is managed may be different with under the new stream concept, but it will be still a stream web part. And you may use multiple stream channels or multiple libraries or metadata tags to organize those videos by audience. Okay, that's uh, the help and support page in the Microsoft 365 SharePoint in Practice Toolkit. Make sure you include it with your intranet. It's not a lot of work and it's gonna save a lot of work for everybody. Collaborate to collaborate here, people. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Stay in touch. See comments for links and special offers.